Yeah, I was thinking today, it's been a little while since I went and I checked on Bobby, see how he's doing, and uh, heading over to his Sunset Trail trailer. He seems to switch them all the time on the lot. Yo, Bobby! Hello! Hey! Hey, come on in! Yeah, come yeah, on in! Yeah, sweet! Oh, okay. Come on in. There's lots of room. Perfect! Let me go flush the toilet. I'll oh, the okay. Maybe here. I should wait here for a minute. Just, just one second. All right. All right. I'll just hover here. Hover here. Just okay, hovering. Okay, we're good. We're good. You're good? good? Come on in, come on oh, in. okay. Coming in. Coming in. So I want to show you. This is um, this is the trailer I just bought. Oh, never mind. I, I we got them all. But this is a 239. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite trailers, actually, because it's got bunks, and my kids love me when I bring home bunks. <laughs> this is actually quite spacious. Yeah. So it's got the two double bunks in the back, which is a pretty sweet feature. It's got some extra storage underneath. I've always liked that too. So you got a place to throw all the kids' stuff, right? Oh wow! Kids bring a lot of stuff when you go camping, and they make a lot of laundry. So you know you need somewhere to hide stuff. <laughs> or to put them when they're being bad and then or you muddy, got this right? Fantastic! Uh, you got this fantastic bathroom with the tub, so you can keep them clean. You got the bat. You got the toilet there. A Thetford toilet again. Uh, that Thetford toilet just seems to be one of the better products that we sell. It's we got we go through tons of them on the shelf every year too, but. You know, probably one of my favorite things about this this particular Sunset Trail, again, is uh, that barrel ceiling. I love how this little small trailer feels so much bigger with that, that vaulted ceiling. It really does, doesn't it? And I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't really have much to go on. I'm five feet tall, so I fit in pretty much everything. But It just makes it feel bigger, right? You've got <laughs> it this does. nice U-shaped dinette, right? The U-shaped dinette's nice, and then these guys did a great job in making it, you know, if you're that kind of person that wants to stuff a lot of stuff in their trailer, it's easy. Front awesome. opens up. Toss your stuff in there, whether it's your most favorite board game or as my kids like to play, Uno. <laughs> Uno. Uno always seems to come. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then you got the double sink. They give you a suburban style of oven. Uh, the suburban style oven is actually one of my favorite too because it's got that nice classy glass top. Oh, wow. So that flips up. You get your three burners, right? So I can cook. I can cook whatever I want if I get up before everybody else. I can make my uh, percolator coffee. If I'm really feeling up to it, I can cook my chorizo in the morning there. <laughs> you know, our Portuguese heritage chorizo always comes camping too. Of course. Now, um, I'm noticing this U-shaped dinette as well. That obviously folds down into extra sleeping extra space. Extra space, yeah. So this one, you can sleep. You can bring the whole Portuguese family for <laughs> So this makes a bed, right? So you can sleep, you know, two people cozy. And then you got those two double bunks. And then, of course... Mom and Dad get the queen size bed at the front, right? I gotta go check this out. Let me let me go in the other way because I see there's two ways to get into this bedroom. Yeah, so, and that's so cool. double entrance to the queen size bed that's at the front. They give you some nice accent blue lighting, which is cool. You know, Sunset Trail they classed it up. You know, they actually give you a nice logo carved into the wood at, on the header there, which I've always thought was a little more elegant. And then you got pocket doors, so if you do want some privacy, they actually have a nice pocket door. Oh hey! And if you really want a, a TV. recessed area for a TV, yeah, so you can put the TV in there if you want. But you know, everybody's different. Absolutely. So, roof vent in the bedroom if you're a claustrophobic type. you got two, two windows. Again, this one will come with the barbecue. The barbecue's underneath. I'll show you one more time. There oh. you go. So there's your barbecue again and some more storage, right? So, Sweet. So you always got storage in these units, which is which is nice because, you know, as camping folk, we like to take a lot of stuff. Absolutely. Uh, outside, I can show you guys again, but uh, we got... Uh, we got the outside kitchen. So most bunk models we get, you got a choice. So if you get a bunk model with two doors, then you have a bathroom in that corner, and then you can access the bathroom from outside. The Sunset Trail doesn't have it. The Cherokee actually has it. So different manufacturers will do different things. I personally prefer the outside kitchen because I like to cook. But, you know, some of the ladies, uh, they like to have the second door. They like to go, you know, use the bathroom facilities more often. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go take a look. You go okay. in front of me this time. All right, I'm going. You go to the now, outside kitchen. You know what? I don't know, though. I'm, I'm worried about you, uh, oh, like, pushing oh, me down no, the stairs I'll go or slow. something. I'll go slow. <laughs> outside kitchen, you see? I see it. So, outside kitchen's nice. So, metal top. I like the metal top. Metal top's fantastic, right? So, you're not going to burn it. You're not going to mess it up. Uh, two burner flame cane, right? So, if you want to cook your breakfast right outside, easy enough to do. If you want to have, uh, you know, some totes, you can put some totes in there. You can throw your paper awesome. plates. Paper plates are staple camping as well. You know, less dishes is better. Fridge, so you can put your uh, leftovers in there. Or, beverages of some sort. Beverages, yes. Yeah. Sometimes you take the beer along with you. you never <laughs> Sometimes. So back here, you still got that same barbecue bracket. So barbecue bracket flips out. So voila, that sits there. The barbecue goes there. You have a quick connect fitting underneath. So the awesome thing about the whole outdoor kitchen is you don't have to bring it in the little green propane tanks that we all don't like. That's right. So this actually runs, the whole system runs off the 20 pound tanks that are at the front of the trailer. Nice. So that saves you a bunch of money, right? Those 20 Absolutely. Pound, those little green tanks, they're, uh, they're not very cheap anymore. Right. And, and Portuguese folk, we're pretty cheap. <laughs> what kind of truck would pull this? Like just a regular half ton? Yeah, so the dry weight on this picket trailer is just over 4,700 pounds. 
So if you factor in your propane tanks that we just mentioned, a uh, battery or two batteries, depending on what you prefer, some of your personal belongings, you know, you fill the fridge, you take some beer, you take some beverages, whatever you prefer. You take some people. Yeah, some people along <laughs> with you. You're going to probably be around 5,500 pounds okay. loaded weight. All so right. you're going to be able to pull it with any half ton easily. You're still going to even fit into most mid-sized trucks. So any of the new Ford Rangers, uh, Colorado Canyons, Toyota Tacomas, you know, even some of the larger SUVs, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees will pull 6,500 pounds too. Oh, so, wow. So yeah, so you'd be surprised if you can actually pull. We have uh, different dealers within our group that we uh, work with and a lot of times I'm actually really impressed as to what they sell to in the city environments because of course us folk that live in the sticks, <laughs> we got trucks. Yeah, absolutely. So, now, yeah, so if you come around, I want to show you just that slide, hey? So, oh yeah. So that slide's pretty cool, right? So it's a cable style system, goes in, goes out, no problem. It's got a switch inside, anybody can do it. Perfect. Now. Uh Here's a magic question. What's this unit go for roughly bi-weekly? These are on sale. This is, uh, so these are the 2019 models we have on sale. Uh, we have them on for, gee, I think we're just over 37 right now. So Holy cow. Killer deals. They were originally listed for around 44. So, you know, there's some big savings to be had. And, you know, if you come down and talk to me and, you know, treat me nice. <laughs> Buy you some dinner. <laughs> yeah, you know, we might be able to work with you. <laughs> so the sun's in the way here, so sun, I'm just trying yeah. to, there we go. go. Let's, let's go this way, let's go this way. way. Let's go this way. Um, so, Bobby, if anybody wants to find out a little bit more about this model, come check it out. Um, they can find you, of course, at 5012 Highway 16 West yep. and uh, online as well. Yeah, we got, we've got. we been doing our very best. I know you worked hard, Janine, on the website and keeping things up to date, but yeah, websites are uh, super important in today's world. I know we're all busy, right? We don't necessarily have all that time to come down and look at things, so if you want to take a browse online before you have some time to pop down by all means do that and then we can help you uh, you know help you make the decision because of course it's a big decision we understand it's a big purchase we're here to help we're here to support you through the you know you know through the ownership and the lifestyle choice that you're making and buying an RV perfect and what's that website again uh, it's just prevostrv.ca